art lovers out there, usually when I go to do plain air painting, I take lots of photographs that hopefully I can utilize as a studio painting later on. Well, check out this process that I did for this painting, and you'll see a comparison from the actual photograph to what it became as a studio painting. Check it. I start by giving myself an undertone or color that I'll allow to come through and I do a line drawing of my basic shapes, like the light and the leaves. Then I put in the light side of the right side of the painting that's a little different than the wooden side. Once I get the lights in, then I do the shadows. I try to blend the light and the shadow together through color mixing, just gradually getting those tones into the other so that the lines are not so stark or harsh. And notice even in my shadow areas, I try to have warms as well as cooler tones, which will give a little more variation to the color. Color has a similarity to it overall, but that warm and cool play off of each other helps it not be just one continuous tone. Then of course I build from there, putting my shadow side of the wood panel in. And I'll soften those lines as well and try to build some of the details that will give me wood texturing. That includes texture on the plaster side, which is on the right. Hard to see though. You see me going up and down. I'm doing kind of a dry brushy approach to that to give grooves into my wood. Some areas may be a little wetter, but others are drier. Once I've put in some basic grooves, and give them a little bit of detailing to it, not much, because I, I need to focus now on the leaves themselves. And once I get the leaves in, as I'm painting them in, I'm painting in the shadow and the light areas. I tend to start with the light areas and then build to the shadows, trying to give form as I go in the basic lay-in. And of course, I have to finish off a lot of the form later on but even in my initial lay-in I want to have a sense of where some of the lighting the light areas and the shadow areas are as I'm doing each one of the leaves. Now my light areas are kind of a medium light which will allow me later on to go back to give more accent to some of the stronger lights that I need to put in to pull the leaves more forward. Even in the leaves, I'm trying to give variations of tone. I want some areas to have more warmth in the greens, some areas to have more cools in the green, and hopefully feel like they're still one leaf color. That just gives more variety to everything but in a, a much more toned down or played down fashion, of course. Now the leaves are the center of interest for this piece. And that's why I needed to complete the leaves first to make sure the detailing is right for that. Before I added additional detailing to the wood and the plaster areas, that would be the supporting background factor. I needed to keep the balance I knew I wanted to get a lot more detail in the wood without it overpowering the leaves. I had to figure out how to get areas of detail and where to leave areas of detail out. So I couldn't put everything in, but just determine visually if I'm getting too much, I have to tone it down, or if I need additional things to help give the information that I wanted it to have. One of the additional challenges when doing paintings like this is trying not to get everything evenly crisp and sharp. You want certain things to have a softness to it. And other things you want to have a sharper edge that it will come forward a little more. So keeping that balance is important as well. Now I'm pulling in additional highlights into the leaves and more detailing, such as the light hitting in the leaf that will help it feel more concave or a shadow that will help an edge of the leaf to fall away, or maybe it sinks in an area and it puffs forward in that area. And then I go back to the wood, as you can see here, and giving reflected light in the shadow areas. 
without it becoming overbearing and drawing the eye away from the leaf. So that was a challenge. Here's a close-up of the finished product, and you'll see it in comparison to the photo that I worked with. You can see what I changed. Compositionally, I took out some of the right portion, slight bit on the left side, and I altered the lighting, which I thought would give a more dramatic flavor to the piece overall. So remember, don't let a photo dictate to you what the piece should look like.